Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good, good evening. Yeah, here we are. I don't know why we wave like this, but uh, yes, this is <laughs> this, this is our, is our excitement wave. level. We have to wave with two hands and welcome everyone. One won't do it. Paul Tranny here, and welcome Megan Fisher for day three. <laughs> uh, super excited about today. And so we'll excited. Get, we'll get kind of choked up after a while. Yeah, we'll like be like, we're, we'll they'll have to drag you'll us You'll see out. a smiling, and then you'll see a, like a solo tear just stroll stroll down her cheek. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> You're like, I'm so glad. It's a good thing. It's, I don't know, it's a, a tear of happiness. That's right. But yes, all, oh, well played already with the puns. Uh, Ab Owl Dorma. hail Queen Megan. Owl I hail love that. Queen Megan. I love Megan. so many things about that statement. Yes. <laughs> and uh, if you want to stalk her online and everything, it is Owltastic. You can go yeah. to Owltastic.com and That's right. on Twitter and is Instagram. It's all owls all the time. Okay. Good. <laughs> Instagram good, good. is Owltastic. Facebook is Owltastic Design. Okay. Because some, some lamo stole owl dust. Oh, they better be posting about owls is all we know. I think, yeah. I actually can't remember what they do, like an owl shop or something. Okay. Well, that's, we'll, we will allow it. Yeah, it's sure. Fine. Thank you so much for posting that, Tim. Uh, Riza, welcome. Ha good to have you here. Always Ooh, interested in where Indonesia. you're from. Indonesia, fantastic. Felicia, our good friend. Uh -huh. Good to see you as well. Stalking me. Cool. Thank you. Oh, it's yeah. past midnight in India. Yes. And you are like an owl. Nayan, he's like up late. Yeah. Like watching us talk owls. We appreciate that. We'll try to. <laughs> probably, there's probably an owl outside your house right now, uh, a wide awake, maybe hunting. I don't know. I think they actually hunt at dusk. I don't know. <laughs> that's when the, the little, little mises are running around. Yeah, that's true. Little, it's probably easier then. Yeah. Mexico, so. Phoenix, Guatemala. Night owls unite. I love that. Yes. We need a club. Quietly, at home. Late night unite. designers. Yes, Night exactly. Owls. And I think that's typically a schedule for a designer, you know? Yeah, um, a lot of times. So, right? I mean, we like... That's kind of how it started for me with the owl thing, because I was doing all my work at, you know, I, 3 o'clock in the morning, and my clients were like, why are oh, you emailing us at this right? weird time? I know. I, like, I think there needed to peak. be... There needed to be a service that probably is actually through Gmail of se just send the email at 8 a.m. That's not a true at 2 a.m. when you really want to finish when Write you finish. It. Or yeah, actually, boomerang so. for Gmail. Little plug there. That's oh, what boomerang it, that is does what it's that. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. Like you can schedule your email times. So, so if you want people to think you're like at work, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you can schedule emails to go out during the boomerang. day. <laughs> I love it. Not that anyone shouldn't be working. I'm not no. promoting. Laziness. No, you just you're working late at night, uh, especially if you're in Indonesia as well. So Seattle, Brazil. good to have you, Alex. Love it. Yeah, fantastic. So we have a again just to kind of continue the theme. We can kind of take a look at what you have here. Yeah, let's. I want to do a little recap today. Yeah. Oh, we don't have that that we one can, camera, but that's right okay. Here. Oh, you can get it over. Yep. I just feel like it's fun to like take a look at where we've been on our journey together. Got for sure. Let's see. We started started right from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> so this was my original hideous sketch that I <laughs> introduced you all to on day I one. I think there are some words there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Some There's curves, some, some lines. And these actually that... mean things to me, if you can believe it. <laughs> but it was really good because you had like, I like this idea of this endangered indicator. Which yeah. As we got into this, we we're like, and, and we can always add that later. But like, there's some, you captured some good ideas here, I think. So. Yeah, and this is honestly how I start every project. Like, if I'm kind of a perfectionist, so if I don't give myself permission to just be really dirty and messy with stuff, then like, oh. it'll be really hard for me to ever start. Yeah. So this is how I start. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, and then kinda. from there we moved into these wireframes. That was kind of kind of day one, and. Uh, I actually still really love these, you know, the black and white. Yeah, I do I'm too. I'm almost and like, it's, is it, it better? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't, it's super strong. I don't, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's kind of modern. It's yeah, kind it of what works. black and white does. It's like that so. Swiss design. Maybe yeah, we'll do an alternate version that just is like Helvetica, right. black and white. Yeah, <laughs> like, yes, exactly. It's like, like one red letter. This? Yeah. There's like one, there's one little square of color just to show, to indicate that you actually did use color. Yeah, exactly. That'd be funny. But I'm also curious if you've joined us or been, maybe you've been with us all three days. Yeah, shout out to I, the, the three day people. Yes. 
Exactly. So I think Felicia, I think, has been here for hopefully three days. Yeah, that's great. Hector from Tijuana. Hector, my friend, good to see you. That was cool. Um, Wanna, so, but yeah, we tackled this. You so we did that on day one, and then this is yesterday. So we came pretty far, I feel, in a short amount of time. Yeah, we did. Uh, that's looking really good. I'm gonna license some of those images, cool. and uh, that will be fun. So, and also just to kind of recap as well, uh, Nayan and Anna, looks like, okay, so and Nayan's Amy. been here for all three days. Nice. You oh, guys are awesome. Very cool. Super, super happy to have you. Onur, uh, we know Onur. I know he's been with us for all three days. Uh, whether you have or you haven't today is a little bit different, by the way, because we've had daily challenges. Those are actually still happening, so we do have a daily challenge. Give me one second. Uh, happening. Uh, you can uh, kind of check that out, and I can always post that link, but this is the... We still have... We had two days of challenges, and then we still have this daily creative challenge going on right now. So awesome. this will go on even days after uh, today, so a total of like eight days. Keep it going. So this is definitely still going. Um, I can post that link. Actually, Tim, boom, like on, on it. He's on it. Tim. On cue. Our man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so that's essentially what we're, um, that's one thing we're doing today, but also what we're doing today is, uh, we have portfolio reviews. So, uh, so you'll excited. actually, yeah. You'll actually notice that right next door, right next to the chat <laughs> says portfolio review. So that's where you'll submit it to this form. And, uh, you know, we just ask that you, you know, just have hopefully spent time on it. We're not seeking out the best portfolios. I just would like to see a complete portfolio like. Let us know that you put time into it, and we will put time into reviewing it. That's yep. Kinda what it Can't wait. To. So yeah, that's what's happening today. We'll do that in about an, an hour. Yeah. So, and then we'll have random giveaways because what we also have going on is this little. Oh I'll yeah. I'll share this in a second, but we'll have a little chat and win random giveaways. What's in there? It's a mystery. Times I know. It's right? It's exciting. It's like, it's bills. Here's all my bills. No, I'm out. <laughs> Please pay these. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Gonzalez, good to have you, my friend. Awesome. Yeah, hey. Yay. <laughs> this is fun. Good to see some familiar names and faces. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. I think you're right, though, because even as you worked on that wireframe, that did establish a style. You obviously totally. worked on colors. And can you kind of talk a little bit about the panel that you have on the left-hand side? The assets. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, this is the, for those who were with us yesterday. We spent most of the day in the assets panel, and uh, this is just one of my favorite things about XD because it makes it so quick to go from wireframes straight into design. Like basically, I just you know added all my colors over here to the the colors panel and went in and tweaked those grays from the wireframe, and it makes it seem like you're doing a lot of design really quick. Yeah. Like I remember back in the day with Photoshop going in and like using the direct selection tool to select every shape or yeah. like digging through my layers panel. As mm -hmm. I established on day one, I'm not good at naming layers or yeah. organizing my files. Hey, no, it's that's, all good. You're too busy working. You're too busy, too busy getting things done. Exactly. So. Oh, time to be organized. That is good. But yeah, so it, with the assets panel, it makes it really quick to kind of make changes. And now you guys can see like if I right click on this little green, Highlight on canvas. I can see all the places we have that green. Again, for those of you who were with me yesterday, like I am still not happy with that green, and I changed it about 20 times yesterday. Yeah, I'll yeah. Probably well, change it again. And today. I love your, I love your instincts because you're kind of like on this uh, like mint green kick, which is totally appropriate. I think what that does is it, it, it does make it fresh and yeah. makes it look a little like contemporary. Yeah. So I think that's kind of the gut instinct you're maybe going with. Yeah, I was worried it was too like army, yeah, like crocodile okay. Dundee colors. Yeah. <laughs> I was Good like, call. we gotta soften this up a little bit, you know. Like, yeah in something kind of fresh and fun so and the nice thing is is you can with that assets panel you can we can change things globally since we totally. have that established we can make these all like we had them kind of yellowy at one point mm -hmm. which was working for me too so you can see that it's really easy with the assets panel Oof. what if you and is the green also the green bar also tied into that color like totally. what if that's like black or something like what if it was yeah like we even can make it whatever, whatever. we want 
Make it more blue. This is where everybody, and feel free to chime in. We are open to your suggestions. That looks good. That's that kind even of cool. hints to the photo on the first page, but wow. Yeah, that kind of works. It's so fun. So, you know, if you're doing like work and your boss or someone is like, my favorite color is purple. You can be like, that's not gonna work and I will show you in three seconds via the assets panel. Yeah, they don't have, oh yeah, they don't have to know that it's that easy, by the way. Oh yeah, you can right? be like, I'll you go away like, for three oh, yeah. hours. Purple's so. extra hard to mix that color. But if you ask for a pink, we could do pink. Oh my gosh. Because pink's her favorite color. Yeah, so like. it'll probably end up in there somewhere. I'm such a cliche, I love, I love like that pale. Yeah, let's go with XD pink. There we go. That's you working. <laughs> So what's nice about this is, um, <laughs> like I think even for today is the plan to kind of like do some prototyping and stuff. Yeah, that's that's my goal is to get this thing prototyped because right now it's just a lot of screens. But yeah, once you prototype, that's when it starts together. to come to life. Um, and then also we can we can post the link, mm. and uh, people can add comments and stuff. So even as we kind of talk about color or whatever, we'll post that link if you have some suggestions. Yeah, that would be awesome. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be good. So should we just... So, Bubba likes the muted navy. I did, you know, it's funny because like, I think what happens sometimes as you work on a project for a long time, you get sick of whatever color it is. And you're just, after a while, you're just happy to see another color. Yeah. Doesn't that happen? <laughs> All the time. Because anyway, this is like day three. Well, technically like day two for this design, but yeah. you get the idea. Yeah, that's why it's fun to do like a couple different styles. A lot of times I'll just save out this whole document, make a new one, and play around with a different color scheme, and publish that prototype, and sit there and look at them back and forth. Yeah, and, and then I think even a as we look at them, it looks like you're connected here as well, right? Yeah, so we're going to actually look Fancy. at it on the phone, which is kind of the real test. And then uh, <laughs> I'm sure her husband will be texting her at the exact same time, <laughs> trying to get a text message up on your screen while you're... Yeah, that's that would be pretty Hey, honey, you're doing them. great. <laughs> <A> little notification. <laughs> Yesterday, my mom was texting me like, "Good job, to, good yeah. luck with your Adobe no, speech." Just jo Adobe speech. Good, to, good luck with like, Adobe speech. Close enough. Mom, Thanks, just, mom. Yeah, log in like everybody is doing, like Jose Gonzalez is doing. Yeah. And Jermaine saying this is pretty amazing. These Aww. are all the comments that we read. So you don't need our personal phone number, <laughs> but if you do, it is <laughs> don't you? not available to you. No, I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll right. Have to look it up. Exactly. That's I like point. Jose's suggestion of using the now and later candy color schemes. Yes, uh, <laughs> exactly. Cool. And, yeah, <laughs> I'll let you continue, but like, I don't know if a lot of people know, I'll just like switch over real fast. Ooh. Sorry. No, but take like, over. If, you do, if you do happen to capture an image, we know there's Adobe Capture that can capture colors, but if you do, go to color.adobe.com, right oh. up here you can like sort of grab colors from an image is what oh, you can cool. do. So selecting right there, <laughs> grabbing, you know, whatever colors you want, in this case, of uh, my brother or something. <laughs> so anyways, this is grabbing colors. The key thing is, is that like it's Ooh. all these colors are, actually that's that's kind of on our color scheme already. That's like a, a really nice color scheme. Yeah. There's other tools that do that, but I feel like the color scheme they generate is a bit wonky, but this actually looks great. Yeah, like it's, all these tones. It's super smart. Uh, you can kind of dive into sort of like exploring uh, colors. So there's kind of like the mint color, but uh, we can save this and I can actually save that to Adobe Live. So this could be copy of flat design, you know, anyways. So that's actually going to oh, sync cool. to your, um, and be available. Oh, yeah. So now I, I mean, we don't, I don't actually, I, I think if we take a look at your screen now, Let's see. It, mm, it's not, I see, open up, see if colors, so colors is one thing that we're still working on. I don't think colors are going to come up. Oh, okay. So that's on its way. But the thing is, is like, I would, I would implement that in Illustrator and get that refined and you can always steal it from my Illustrator file. That's <clears> true. <throat> that would be cool. Colby <laughs> likes it. Colby, good to see you back. Awesome. Yeah, that was fun yesterday playing with um, libraries because you were just going on Adobe Stock and finding cool owl images for me and dropping them in. Uh, yeah. So you can really see how that makes collaboration so much easier. Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like it just like you can have Rather somebody else do work for you. Like, yeah. Oh, and you did this. That looks really good. Like this. This is oh, kind of yeah. where we ended up at the end of yesterday. That's I really loved good. that. This is the using the background blur tool for those of you who weren't there yesterday. 
So it's and then cool. as you even as you move that, that's the panel, um, and it will blur out anything behind it, whether it's a photo or text or whatever. Yeah, look. So now we can it like is smart enough to just know. So I didn't have to mm -hmm. go to Photoshop and mess around with gosh and blur or any of that. Yeah. Just it nailed does it. All the layers beneath it. Those guys at XD know what they're doing. Yeah. Guys they and do. gals. We'll go ahead and we'll <laughs> take credit for it. Yeah. <laughs> Since they're not here. I like that. Great job, <laughs> guys. <always>. All us. <laughs> yes. So yeah. I love we've got chat I, about 80s design and sneakers going on. Yeah. You guys are it. cool. Yeah, I love, we love, what, ni 90s retro. <laughs> I haven't heard the word 90s retro. <laughs> I've heard 80s retro. And 90s is like still I'm not recent, ready for that. Re yeah, it's recent it's, it's memory. too recent, Too soon, guys. too soon. <laughs> I uh, remember. I love the 90s. what you have going on here, right here with these colors. You're doing that tint of the the background color. Yeah. You've done a lot of work. I did. You, even uh, like if you scroll to the right. Sorry. No, I'm like, happy to do it. All these screens look really good. I really like that. Yeah, it's all coming together. Like even that logo and or that. Uh, you that's know. the cute little icon you sent me. Oh, okay. It's, nice. That's all you, man. But good job. Uh, like, I mean, those are those colors are right on. You didn't use, you're not using gray, right? You're using... <laughs> no, it's like a, a warm a, gray. Yeah. So, and just kind of recap what this app does. What does this app do? So, uh, yeah, I am obsessed with owls, as you guys probably picked up on by now. Um, and there's like a little owl sanctuary park near where I live in Florida. Shout out to Central Florida people, if there's any out there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's like a sanctuary for birds, so I was thinking it'd be cool if they had an app where you could see a list of all the birds in the park and get information about them, and then they even have this cool program where you can adopt, adopt an owl. Not like for real, because you wouldn't want to do that, because as we established, owls make terrible pets. Um, yeah. For those They're who don't jealous. know, they're jealous lovers. They are. They yeah. they bond with their owners, and then if anyone else tries to come near them, they attack them. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it would be pretty intense. Yeah. My cat's a bit like that too. Weirdly. Okay. <laughs> he might be part owl. He's very <laughs> possessive. Gotcha. But anyway, so this I, I digress. Uh, this app is kind of like a visitor's guide app for like a hypothetical owl park. So we've got this guide. We've got, here, let me zoom in a little bit there. I always design really zoomed out. Do you guys ever do I, that? <laughs> I've, I've noticed that you you do. Yeah, it's like, weird. And yeah. then I lean in, and I'm like, why can't I see anything? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because I want to see all the screens at once to make sure whatever I'm doing like fits with mm -hmm. the overall flow. But anyway. At, at home, are you, are you working on your laptop, or do you connect to a larger screen? Yeah, I have an iMac at home. Oh, OK. So I think I've gotten used to having being able to see everything at once. Oh, yeah. but anyway, so we've got the guide. You can filter um, by like tags. So maybe I didn't get a chance to fill these in, but maybe this would be like what food they eat. Oh, I see. Oh, Jermaine. That is so funny. So my friend Jermaine just said Central Florida. And he is one of the first people I worked with at my first job when I was like a baby designer. Aww. So cool to Aww. hear from him. Aww. Anyway. And I know she's totally <laughs> off the rails. Jermaine, see what you did. I know, man. We were interns together. Oh, nice. Oh, just okay, had a little cool. nostalgia moment. That's cool. Super I'm glad cool. I dropped him. Well, Jermaine, welcome from, <laughs> from Central Florida. Very cool. Yeah, that's fun. But anyway, so yeah, we've got this filter um, screen. You can filter by owl size. Like if you only want to see big owls, you could do that. Uh, we've got these owl profiles learn a little more about each owl. Can adopt an owl here, Barry, Barry the barred owl. Um, so that was pretty cool. We've got some form design going on, a news feed, like owl news. Who doesn't want that in their lives? Yeah. <laughs> I know I do. And uh, then we've got some park info on this screen as well. So this is like a pretty thorough app, I feel, for four hours of work. Yeah. I mean, I'm, not to toot my own horn. I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> but I'm just like I never normally work this fast. Maybe I should do all my work live. Which that's on the amazing internet. because honestly, like it's really people actually don't get as much done. Yeah. Um, you know, on a live stream, just because you're too busy talking and. I think like, what it is is like I couldn't sit here and mess around with like 
oh, this is one pixel off, or yeah. let me try every single shade of brown in the world. Yeah. Because I had to just like make Oh, we decisions. will though, still. <laughs> we'll still, and we haven't gotten any into gradients. I know. It's like, what if it is a soft Why are there white no gradients to a here? nice tan? Yeah. We don't know. That but would, that would be exciting. This is fun. So I'm 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 getting I'm catching a vision. It looks like you have all the screens built out. More or less, I guess. Like, I mean, you know, there's like some link missing, them together but... now or something, or what do you think? Yeah, I think it's time we go into prototype mode, which okay. is exciting. I'm a little excited, a little scared. No, yeah. I'm not scared. It's actually super easy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, someone says, I'm looking at your Behance page. You seem to use green a lot. Any reason why? Well, probably what you're looking at is a lot of the work I did a couple years ago was with a company called Sprout Video. Shout out to those guys. Um, okay. They're like a video hosting startup in New York. And green was our core brand color. So I did okay. a lot of green for a, a lot of times <laughs> when, uh, when I was working there. But... I don't have any particular affiliation with green, I would say. But you do have an affiliation with like owls and it kind of, you know, it did it. Here it works. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if it ties it all together somehow. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna get started with prototyping. Start with this first welcome screen. That's easy enough. And uh, that's gonna take you into, I guess what is essentially our, our kind of home, home page, this guide here. Um, and the cool thing about prototypes, prototype view, is you can mess with all these transitions. So there's a bunch of different ones in here. It can slide in. I think sliding in would probably be good, right? Yeah. Slide left. Either that or di or a dissolve. Or a dissolve. Yeah. But yeah, play with it. You you're the boss. Okay, that sounds good. You can mess with easing. I feel like I don't know enough about easing to like accurately explain what these mean. It's yeah, kind of yeah. bad. I just try each one and yeah, see which one I like. Yeah, ease out means it's just think of like slow. Replace the word slow, <laughs> e the word ease with slow, because it's going to slow out. It's going to like go slow as it reaches that out point. Okay. Ease cool. in and ease out is really nice. It starts <laughs> slow and goes in. Like first off, I think for user interactions, don't do ease in. Okay. Like you want, as soon as you click on a button, you want you want immediate like action. So if yeah. it starts slow, it doesn't seem responsive. So yeah, that ease makes out sense. is a good. You have you have that correct, I think. Okay, cool. So yeah, duration. Well, I'll leave these with the defaults for now, and then we can go in and tweak all these animations. So let's see. I think I want each of these to go to a different place. So I'm going to group these. I suppose the guide will always come here, but like adopt, for example, it's gonna take us over. All the, this is where I so need to like reorganize my artboards. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could also if you just click on that tab. So the button, if you select the button, like you know, that little tab right there. If you just click on. Oh it once, right, right. Okay. Then it, if just don't even do a click and drag, just click on the tab. <laughs> Yeah, gotcha. You can group those two things. But anyways, so here's a drop-down list. Oh, that's handy. In, in case it is, like, clear over there. That is so funny because I've done a fair amount of prototypes in XD, and I'm always, like, dragging that little arrow yeah. all the Which way Which is okay across. when you have a big iMac. It's, like, this big, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, oh. now, now working on the laptop, I'm like, there's got to be an easier way. And, of course, there is. <laughs> Thank you. We're all learning today. It's good. Thank you. Cedric puts it right. So no easing does look just cheap and standard and like you didn't even think about it. Yeah, you need, you out need for, some kind of transition. I like that. Cool. Okay, so we'll get these all hooked up. I'm going to start grouping these shapes and symbols. And by the way, we always want to hear if you are, maybe you are, it looks like Alex using, he's been using InVision and a little bit of Sketch. We want to hear if you are used to using something else and what you think of XD like we're we're here to make this for you, not not because we don't have anything else going on. This is <laughs> yeah. for you. Yeah, if there's more you, you guys want to know or talk or hear yeah. from from us about. And by the way, considering the development of XD, uh, sure we can get your feedback and get the help menu, do all that stuff. Even tomorrow at noon, by the way, we'll have the some people from the XD team uh, live streaming. So that's where you can like pry information out of them. So they might show some things, they might not. I don't know what they're going to show tomorrow, but. That Tomorrow sounds noon. cool. Yeah. Talk directly to the team. But also Alex will be up after us with good old Zach. Zach Nelson's 
Yeah. Alex. Alex. This is starting to look cool. I love it when you get a, when your prototypes get crazy and you have those blue lines connected. I love it those makes me blue feel lines. like a mad genius. <laughs> right? I love those. <laughs> or blue like lines. a minority report or something. I don't know. Like, yeah. It's kind of sci fi. It makes me feel uh, I like, love it. cool and futuristic. <laughs> it's like I really liked do you I don't know if you ever used like Dreamweaver back in the day. Oh yeah. So, so remember ago. how you used to like you had those sort of rubber band like you could point to the file? Yeah. As a visual designer, I appreciate just pointing to things. Those metaphors. As opposed yeah. to typing in. Like visually we can make sure everything's connected. Totally. I love that. So totally. Suman, yeah, so you've been using Sketch, you're new to XD, awesome. Uh, yeah, some super exciting things coming up, by the way. We just did an update on, you know, Monday night. Yeah, it, it's XD. monthly updates, right? At least so far. Yeah, monthly Keep updates. Going, so it's crazy XD. trying to, you know, like <laughs> one of them, and we won't get into it, I'll let you continue, you can continue to work. Okay. I'll just yammer. Uh, but uh, if you wanted to swap out symbols, and obviously you have symbols here, so it's easy to swap out things. Yeah. Swap and replace symbols. Um, one thing I actually would like to, s actually, I think if you copy and paste a graphic from more and more, you could do a multi artboard paste, which is nice, because oh, as yeah. you develop more, you could do paste. If you just do a copy and then have them all selected and do a paste, It'll paste them all in place. Yeah, that is very cool. We um, played with that a little bit yesterday. I love that. Yeah, That's and like, it should actually bring the transition with it, like the interaction. Oh, but cool. the interaction is not tied to the asset in the asset panel. You kind of don't want that because you want it. You want to be able to. Maybe it's tied to it initially, but you want to be able to change it. Makes sense. Let's see. I'm just kind of doing this, and then I'm gonna like test it out and see how I did. <laughs> It'll be fun. Oh, thank you, Brent. I'm gonna qu I'm gonna quote you to uh, to my boss because he was at the you were here last month at the Adobe HQ a month ago. Oh, Brent, cool. tell us more. Always interested in like uh, who you're here with, and uh, or like if you're with a company or something. But yeah, so you seem to. I'm just connecting all the things that look like they have something to connect to. Yeah, it's fun. Do your thing. Oh, another one I like. This is really cool. <laughs> oh, anyways. You're oh, getting excited. I am. <laughs> He's How do you know? I can tell. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> um, so first of all, it will remember your last setting, but if you go to the back button, just yeah. select the next back button. Like here? Uh, do that fly out, man. Just click on that. Boop. Okay. Click on it. And then choose an artboard. Do that drop down at the top. Okay. Uh, previous art, uh, uh, previous artboard. Basically, it should say, yeah, it's it's wherever it, you came from to get to this detail screen. Oh, brilliant! Regardless of where you came from. Oh yeah, okay. So it's can, not like previous artboard that I'm looking at. It's like whatever I clicked at. Yeah, last. whatever you clicked at last to get you there, and then whatever transition you used, it will reverse it to get oh, you back. Oh, cool. So I don't have to. That's what I was wondering. Like. Yeah. Do I have to remember that it was slide up and per, you know set it up to be slide down? But it just knows. Yeah, that's it just, really cool. It'll, it'll just know. And is that a new feature? I don't, I don't uh, no. To be honest with you, it's it's one of those things. That, yeah. I must have missed it. See, but that's why everybody's watching today. This is Armando the real reason I'm Gary. here. Is for you to t teach me more about <laughs> <No>. XD. <laughs> I love it. We, uh, <laughs> yeah, we. You know what you're doing, Paul. That's oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Adam. We did use it on the back button. And that's a perfect case, Adam, by the way, is like now that there's the multi artboard paste, you could do the back button once and then paste it and have it set up to previous artboard. Oh, cool. Go fast. So if I have like a s symbol, I don't, this is mm. just something I'm not sure. Like yeah. if, I, if this is a symbol uh, uh, and I want all of this all symbol of to always go to the other thing, yeah. is there a way to do that? No. Okay. <laughs> just checking. Just thought I'd ask. Valid, you don't have to decide. valid question. And actually, for something like that, when I'm like, "Hey, that should be a thing." It could be a thing. It'd be it cool. could be. A, could I have be no a idea thing. how they would do it. And I and I hate it. If you are, <laughs> so this is actually. By the way, all all this week is actually available on demand. So people can watch this. They can just watch you over and over and just like make it really creepy, really <laughs> creepy. Drive Please up don't the numbers. do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I mean. 
do because we want you yeah, to watch our videos. But just don't make but it creepy. Don't, but, but don't, don't tell be weird anybody. about it, man. Don't, like, <laughs> appreciate it. But, uh, you know, anyway, so, like, we're releasing things constantly, so I'm always... Yeah. Look at the date of the video and then say, hey, you know what? Probably then, exists if you're watching this in the future. That's a cool thought. Someone's watching yes, this Terry, in the future. Yes, Terry, we see you watching this, and we know. We know it's mid-July, and essentially, yes. Yeah. You're, the answer is yes. It's already available. <laughs> I hope Terry watch uh, Terry watches mid July. I hope so too. That would be cool. Okay, coming together. Work your magic. I'm excited. I have so much fun with the prototyping stuff. Yeah. This is Does like why I saved powerful? it for last because I'm like it's a, it's kind of like the fun thing. <laughs> it's fun for me. Right. I don't know if it's fun to watch. <laughs> Everyone's like, well, can you go back to colors? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, but I think I think for designers, again, it's... It's really cool. It's Yeah, it gives you a level of power. Like It's like you're adding interactions without coding. Because yeah. how you do this in other environments is like code it. That's true. Uh, uh, you were there with Howest? How... Howest? Uh, I don't know what that is. But Brent, good. So... Cool. Uh, Simon, I love Simon. <laughs> yeah. Simon and are you, Simon's, Simon's in England, right? Simon's been a right. friend. He's got the breakfast mimosas suggestion. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I know we there did say be. on our last day Aww. we messed it up. <laughs> Can we get some drinks in here? Hey, Andrew, run out and get us Andrew, some mimosas. Get, get us some mimosas. <laughs> That's kidding. easy to do, right? <laughs> Just yeah. casually get some champagne and orange juice. No, we'll we'll do it after. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I still have to stay. That could be an Irish coffee for all we know. Oh, like, Simon's uh, in Liverpool. Cool, nice. Or an English coffee. Irish coffee. What does that have? Uh, Jameson. Like, uh, uh, yeah, some whiskey or Bailey's. Something? Bailey's. Bailey's. Maybe Bailey's. Bailey's. <laughs> hmm. This totally doesn't have any alcohol in it. Definitely not. Why would it? <laughs> Um, okay. Yes, we're uh, there. Uh, Reza, this is exactly for you. So we're prototyping now, and she's going to publish this prototype and paste the link. I'll paste the link in, and you'll see it. Any minute now, you guys. Oh, Macosta does say it is Jameson whiskey, not Bailey's. Okay. <laughs> I just think Bailey's would be good Bailey's too. Is Bailey's good is, in is like it would have to be whiskey and Bailey's and coffee. Yeah. I, I... Huh. <laughs> Yeah, you would know. <laughs> this guy with the accent knows things. <laughs> Jameson so whiskey, if it's a non-English accent, I'm like, and it's something from Europe, <laughs> you, you could tell me anything and I'll believe you with that accent. Yep. So it's dreamy. True. Such a dreamy accent. <laughs> so is. dreamy. It's so true. Husband as of two weeks. Yep. Yeah. It's exciting. I love it. Got him. <laughs> we nailed that. Got him. <laughs> uh, by the way, actually, did this... I don't see a timer, but we will be giving away a fun little thing here. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, right now, I think the timer might have already went off for this. Oh, yeah, no problem. So we're going to be, we do random giveaways, so that's always a thing. Glenna, that's the new word we heard is beer mosas. That's the first time I heard it was this week. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not as keen on those. I prefer, uh, prefer champagne. Oh, is it time? We can give this away. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, fan. All right, so you saw that fancy video, which basically I says we're giving away. You have not seen this yet. No, have I want to know what this is. Ooh. <laughs> Suspense. Holy moly. Well, let me <laughs> go ahead and set it right it. here so everybody can get a closer look. Oh my gosh, yeah. Sorry, but yeah, I'm so yeah, no, there. go ahead. Being grabby. By all means. <laughs> so this is what we're giving away right now. Just be active in chat. This is chat and win. So essentially it could be like, say noise or so cool or yeah, look at this. You've got mimosas or a whatever. A pencil that says wireframe. Oh, I'm doing it upside down. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Wireframe like it's 1982. Yeah, old that. school. Super pencil. old school. More pencils. Iter iterate, iterate, iterate. 
good advice. Wow, I'm having a hard time with this camera, y'all. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't. You, you can just understand. Read, it, read it like a normal, just like a normal person. Just be normal. Just be normal. Be a normal person. Why can't you just be normal? Just like be normal. <laughs> oh my Scary. gosh, you're the best. But isn't this really cool? Like, look. Oh, I love it. Look at those like little stencils that you can use on your fancy little notepad right here. So this would drastically the stencil improve kit. my sketches. If I had this, yeah, but I like I like yours. <laughs> I don't care what you say. It's a sketch. Yep. But uh, this would be great. just Haven't be active in chat. In Simon has entered. Jose has entered. Tim has em entered. That's how you do it. <laughs> and the Gusbot Five Thousand will go ahead and pick the winner. We have mm. the Adobe Live team doing the research, and look like looks like we have our winner. Our winner is Reza. Barantu. Reza. Well Reza done. Barantu. Yes. Reza Barantu. Yay. You Sorry, it. we didn't sound that excited there, but we're just trying to read your last name. Yeah, we didn't um, want to mess it up. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. That's awesome. I'm jealous. You win all of this. Mm -hmm. And again, you can. it could be markers. You can give yourself a tattoo, like a heart <laughs> tattoo with a little sketch uh, stencil. You can draw stuff on your mail. Right? Because <laughs> people still send mail, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Physical that's, mail. That's all you really use mail envelopes for anyways, is taking <laughs> notes and writing down things, <laughs> sketching. That but is awesome. Congratulations, Reza. Just make sure you... S we want to know that you heard us. Yeah. So say something in chat. Uh, the Adobe Live team will be contacting you and delivering it to your doorstep. That's right. Chatbot picked you. The Gusbot 5000. Oh, Gusbot, right. <laughs> it's the general, the general bot. universal selector, the Gusbot. We love him. Yes. Or her. It's or a her. bot. It's a bot. Gendered, not yeah, gendered. Gender, gender neutral, I guess. <laughs> oh, is it uh, Simon? Is it Ramadan? Did Ramadan start? He says, awesome. hap hey guys, happy Ramadan for uh, any Muslims out there. So, wow, I don't know. Maybe it is Ram Ramadan. No, that's cool. well, awesome. <laughs> Good to have you. And uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. I'm ready to go ahead and hit play on this baby. Let's do and it. Just see let's how see, I do. Let's see how, let's see if it's broke. If it's, <laughs> how long if it's not broken, it it's no fun. I know. How so long hit before play. it breaks? Okay. I'm going to go full screen because I like having that black canvas around it. It's fun. Click in. Ooh, did you see that? Yeah. Let's go back. Hold on. Do it again. <laughs> See that easing? The easing would be good. Easing. I'm into it. Okay, we're going to click on this barred owl. That was cool. Maybe we want to adopt him. Click adopt. Ooh. I don't know about that slide down. Mm. That was kind of wonky. I think it should slide up. Okay, or yeah. That, something. Yeah. I don't know what. It needs to do something different because this is kind of a different type of interaction. Mm -hmm. Like, we get rid of the menu. Focusing all and your at this efforts point, on the like, CGA. can I go back? Yeah, see, this is why you prototype. This is, yeah, perfect. This needs a back button. Yes. <laughs> Basically, the back button is adopting the owl. You aren't allowed out oh. until you adopt it. Exactly. Just make that whole screen <laughs> one big button. You now have adopted four owls. This is where it's it's good to uh, like try out your designs. It's the value of prototyping. Because sometimes people need to go back in life. <laughs> so we got oh. through about three screens before. <laughs> I, and I think this is the very first time you've ever zoomed in. <laughs> like, it's been three days. Day three. Day three. She I, finally zooms in. I can finally, oh, I can finally the, read this. I finally no, have the joking. courage to look at it up close. <laughs> <laughs> before that, I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay, I suppose I can do it. So there we go. Let's try it. And what was the other thing we found? Yeah, Jose does like the zooming in more. And oh, it really? does highlight, highlight your design in all its glory. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. That's what we want to uh, see. Works better as a tutorial. Uh, I, I've just gotten you. <laughs> well, on day three, the last day, yeah. I've learned that actually zooming in I've, and letting people see the design is yeah. helpful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I've just gotten used to squinting. And I'm like, wow, you could just zoom in? Thank you so much. <laughs> good thing, good thing. We're discovering this now, but I am gonna zoom back on now. Okay, thanks for that. That was short-lived. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jose. It was short. It was fun while it lasted. 
<laughs> it was literally actual size before. Well, the good thing is yeah. we are going to prototype the, or um, publish this prototype, so you will actually get to see what it looks like. So what did we say? We're, oh, this one we were going to slide. Um, what is the shortcut key for? Um, slide down. We'll try that. Oh, yeah. Command 3. I think this is really, th really cool because Command 3 will zoom in on the item that you have selected. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. You and know I, I love my keyboard shortcuts. Too. I know you do. Like, <laughs> like, so, like Illustrator, for instance, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm 99% sure doesn't do that unless you edit shortcuts. I don't know, actually. It'll zoom to your mouse, but it doesn't zoom to your selection. So. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Tim can't wait to see it on your actual phone, so this will be good. <laughs> the suspense is building. So yeah. I changed that. I'm not sure about slide the slide, though. But look, we've got the back in. I'm going to try it. Keep playing with it. I'm going to see what other interactions would be good there. What do you guys think? Oh, Zach says, loving how this is coming together. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate that, bud. Zach Maybe knows, I want to push Zach knows down. how to win a contest. <laughs> Compliments. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I want to push. Thank you so much, Catherine. Thank you for mentioning that. What, late to the stream, what program is this and what are we doing? I always want to hear if you're new and this is exactly right. So working in Adobe XD allows you to design and prototype uh, really interactions and designs for anything, for any screen. Uh, we're working on a mobile device right now. That's right. For owls. Not for owls, but... Kinda. To adopt an owl uh, for a specific location. So again, adopting it, it stays there at the uh, conservato conservatory or whatever. You and, know, maybe uh, I should just jump to my phone thinking about it. Okay, yeah. This is a bit silly. I'm like, is this, oh, is it's this already what up. I want? Was it already up? It's already up working or no? Oh yeah, look, there Hold it is. Hold on, let's make sure because it should, sh shouldn't it? Is it, can you click on things and stuff? Yeah. All right, so. What we can do is we can actually... Wait, I think. Hold on, we'll see if I doing this right. Oh, there we go. I just need to make the top area bigger. Yes. That's a good mobile UX tip anyway. And, um, yeah. Okay. We're having fun here looking at this. We will... Uh... Maybe, can we... Yeah, okay. we, can, we can, so what we'll do is we'll just move this over here. Yeah. There's a couple different ways we can do this, but we'll just do it right here, Just and we'll just get a, a glimpse oh, good at idea. this right now. Okay. So, as you can there see, it is. right here. Cool. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, but we kind of need this cable connected to the phone. Yeah, it's one of those things. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I, I selected Adopt, so here we are. Of course, we're going to adopt Bear the Owl. Let's enter our payment information. I might not have that so. plugged in. This thing's going wild. Anyways, all over I think the if place. you do a long press, oh, so yeah. we're in the Adobe XD app. So it's a, a desktop app. This is the sort of companion XD uh, mobile app, and this is um, what we're checking out. So what the cool thing is is like as soon as so we're connected by USB. As soon as it you see it on your screen, you can unplug it and take it with you. Oh, cool. So I could actually do that if I wanted to, but I think I'm going to stay here today. Okay. Um, <laughs> You'll stay here with me and yeah, I'm gonna stay. leave I'm gonna in the middle of our stream. I'm Thank out. You. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> so uh, I would never. I'm actually hard to get rid of. This is the problem. <laughs> That's the real problem. So, and, uh, oh, thanks, Elijah. Yeah, so that works out well. So, and this is good. So we'll kind of, you'll probably kind of sit here and look at this and we'll work on your laptop and. Yeah, we'll go back and forth so you guys can see a bit of both. I think, yeah, we're, I'm still trying to get, get this right, like figure out what, what I want to happen here. Let me yeah. go back to this full screen. So Jose you can asks, see it for a sec. how long will it be visible on the phone? I mean, it's cached on your phone. I think maybe if you close the app, it might not be available, um, but. It's, it's available in your cache as long as it's there. What you can also do is you can save that XD file to your Creative Cloud Files folder, and then it's always going to be on your phone. So there's also that. I'm trying to get a sense. Oh, yeah. Like so uh, Reza, what I just mentioned is you can save the XD file to Creative Cloud Files, and then it will be available on your Android device or iOS. 
Now's the fun part where you just watch me tap my phone 6,000 times to be like, do I like that? I don't know. Do I like that? Right? I think so. <laughs> as you should, as a designer. That's how as it goes, man. As you should. Let's see. I think, I, I think I'm starting to dig this, though. Like, I'm not sure if y'all can see. I think it's coming together. The sliding for adopting. So I want to adopt Barry. Do you think it's a slide in or dissolve? So let's adopt. let everybody weigh in. I think it should. Yeah. What do you What do you think? Again, I want to hear. Switch back to your screen too. Hear from y'all for that adopt screen. Yeah. Getting to the adopt screen sh when you tap. There, it's kind of sliding. It slides down. Sliding down or push down. I think is the one I have on. I now. think I think dissolve. I think yeah. you're on the same subject matter, so so it should just dissolve. Yeah. Um, what do you? Oh, someone likes the slide. Eh. It's too slow. Okay, we can speed it up. Rosemary, I like I like that idea. Maybe we should speed it up a little bit. Ooh. So, oh, Bubba, Sorry. that's good. A good point. question. Yes. Is there a way to make uh, everything slide but the header or the, so like if this case. were to yeah that would be cool that would be cool unfortunately <laughs> not yet that's like the number one feature which we know is coming soon so yep. we already got we got some inside intel earlier this morning so <laughs> uh, that's something you can try to pry out of Alex is what I would do I'm just, <laughs> you just pry that out of Alex is going to be up next with Zach but Alex is also uh, basically, on Fridays at noon, we have XD live streams, and that's when you get to talk directly to the team, and that's when you could try to get them in trouble by having them leak some info. That would be cool. <laughs> but I'm not gonna, because you know what? I, I'm gonna. I want to keep my job. I like my job. I want to keep <laughs> it, uh, and all that good stuff. One funny thing is now I'm seeing like the adopt an owl header here is not aligned with the details oh, header. Oh, interesting. And that's the funny thing about doing a prototyping is you pick up on those weird places where your design is just a little bit off. Yeah. You know, like a line will move a pixel. And and you'll notice that specifically when you do the dissolve, that's how you kind of can tell, right? Yeah. Is that how you... That's how I've got it you, set up now, yeah. Yeah. So you, so you see can, that, yeah. that shift. So I need to fix that. Yeah. I can move this up a little bit. Thank you so much, Tim, for talking about portfolios. We will do those in about 45 minutes. Select the, you guessed it, that portfolio review tab. We'll review portfolios in 45 minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and select these headers across all my artboards to make sure they are aligned. Simo likes slide from the left. Okay. So yes, Reza, thank you so much for submitting your portfolio. It's it's not uh, the amount of work that you have, just if you've spent time on your work and and on your portfolio, we wanna yeah. be able to give you feedback. We're gonna make those consistent. If we publish this now, we can continuously publish those updates too, right? Yes. So what we'll do you do think, that. should we just publish it and everyone can start yeah. play along at home. <laughs> yeah, I, and I think you should, I think it's good to show that process, totally. Yeah. Let's do it. You guys can be like, this part's broken. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be able to comment. I like it. Like, keep comments. Bring it on. Tr turn comments on. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, s so we go up here to this little share icon, publish prototype, allow comments, show hotspot hints, sure. Do we wanna open in full screen? Uh, no, okay. because we wanna be able to show the, the chat oh, right, right. on the side to Good be call. an indicator. It's working. Alrighty. And then I suppose someone will share the link in chat for us. Uh, or I can send this over to you. Let's uh, sort of do that. Yeah, you should send it over to me and we'll just go full screen. So you can go ahead and email it to me. <laughs> okay. Or I'll if just you don't mind. Here. I, it's it's on us full screen. Nobody's seeing your screen right now. Okay. Oh good. They won't see my email. <laughs> yeah. All my emails from like Keds and American Eagle Outfitters and like lamb <laughs> clothing emails. <laughs> oh, all your I'm, like, spam emails. All my spam emails. Don't want that. So let's see. Here I might actually just do this. Yeah. Or I don't know. Yeah. We'll figure this out. Send it to me. Okay. Keep it easy. 
Oh, I see what you're, I see what's happening. <laughs> Got it, because you're using our laptop. Oh, uh, Majoni says. Uh, I knew it. Um, yes, thinks it's awesome. Is there a link to awesome? Uh, awesome? Yes, there will be in a second. We're gonna go ahead and post it to chat right now. Tim will hopefully help us with that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. You, you're not making a full-fledged app. You're prototyping something, so you're getting everything worked out before you turn it over to the developers. And uh, the idea is, you know, we want to make friends. We want to make friends with the developers, right? We, uh, we have to have sort of all the answers of all the screens and how everything's connected and the colors of everything. So we give the developers a prototype. And what we'll, we'll also show you is design specs. Because this prototype we're going to send to you, everybody can comment on. Uh, the, the client can give you a thumbs up and all that good stuff. But design specs gives you the individual specs for each individual item. So we can kind of get into that. There we go. It'll be super fun. <laughs> okay, I sent that over to you. And I've got it, I've also got it open here. Oh, let's take a look. Tim says if I open it in the browser, I can post it in chat. So that works too. So yeah, this is the published prototype. This is really cool. This is what you like a client would see if you send them a link to a prototype. So, <laughs> sorry, we've got um, <laughs> all kinds of special guests <laughs> wandering. Oh, she's back! She's back! <laughs> Alyssa came back! Yeah, Alyssa's you, back. Did you, you miss guys. us? <laughs> Alyssa she missed, missed us too much. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Luckily, we're going to see you later. Bye, see Good. Right on. See you. Kerwin says his development team kicks him in the shins and throws things at him. Yeah. Hey. We don't condone that kind of designer abuse. <laughs> no, we don't. But we've all kind but of been there. We've all seen And you're kind of like, you know, and I hate it when you're like, you think you have everything figured out. This is a way to make sure you have everything kind of worked out. Yeah. Because a lot of times you don't know, like, you, like we said, as we've seen, you don't know until you start clicking around. This is totally. cool, though. News dot All right. Tim, did I add a password? No. No password. Oh, look at Tim. <laughs> Tim's uh, mentioned a new feature. His yes. password protection for those. We could do. <laughs> Maybe I should password protect it and then like only the, the, us cool people on the stream right now. We'll get to know what the password is. Let's see. Kaylee says, as a developer, I want to make sure I have design knowledge and skills too. You sound awesome and I want to work with you. <laughs> I right. feel the same way. Like as a designer, I think it makes me not to like brag, but I think it makes me a stronger designer to know a little bit about coding and development, not to get into that whole debate of like designers and coding, but I think, you know, at least having some understanding of each other's disciplines can be a really yeah. powerful oh, thing totally. in collaboration. Oh so man, yeah, it's huge. That's very cool. So. <laughs> the password is password. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it could be. What would the password be? Like, we'd have to be. It'd have, it'd have to, be to be an hoot, owl. Hoot nanny. Hoot nanny. That or, was that was a good or one. Or Alcom. Alcom. That's a or cute I'll one. I'll be back. Owl. Um, so I posted the link. You can see it in there. Uh, Tim also has it as well. And uh, thank you so much, Tim. Uh, feel free to chime in. And the cool thing is, is we can make changes to this and update that link, kind of based on your feedback, uh, if you're up for it. So uh, super cool. Yeah. I want feedback. I want to want to keep tweaking this till it feels good. Uh, one thing I'm one thing I think is kind of cool, by the way, as I kind of switch over. Uh, I'm on that link as well, so you can just click right over here on this little icon, and I'm just adding a comment. We need to license the image, which image should be pretty obvious, but you can place a pin 
So I'm gonna put that pin obviously like right there. So you can actually pin comments wherever you want to do that. All right. Yeah, that is awesome for feedback. I've, <laughs> I remember the awesome. days of like sending PNGs or like PDFs to clients and then they would yeah. open it and draw in like MS Paint over the top of it. <laughs> yeah, whatever <laughs> like, they could do. Whatever they, they could yeah. figure out how to do and it'd always be some difficult like yeah. counterintuitive Because I don't thing. know if they had like even, re if Reader could even add comments like oh, yeah. for PDFs or whatever, but yeah, it was an issue. This is and so as soon as you sent out that PDF, half the time you're like, oh no, it's too big, got to, it's stuck in spam yeah. or blah, blah, blah. And like, oh, as soon as you send it out, like, you can't make changes to it. Like it's 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 out there. It's, it's out, out there. in the world. And yeah, here exactly. we could sneakily say, "Hey, Kerwin, Kerwin wants a change." We can sneak <laughs> that in there. All I want to do is zoom, zoom, zoom. All I want to do. I'm is trying. <laughs> I'll try to be better about zooming in, you guys. Kerwin, I like it. I like also <laughs> that ref song reference. I know. I'm into it. <laughs> this is fun. I okay. licensed. I licensed another image. Oh, cool. Just, uh, Are you dropping those in the Creative <laughs> Cloud library for me? Yeah. Awesome. 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 I like that's all I'm hearing right now. I know. I'm me kind of licensing too. some some new ones, if you don't mind. No, I'm into it. Let's play with more images. How do we feel about these dissolve transitions here? Someone commented they're a little slow, and I kind of agree. Yeah. What do you think? Um, You're okay with it? I'm okay either way. I okay. kind of don't have an opinion. You guys vote in. <laughs> Get your votes in. Oh, thanks, Kerwin. He says, you don't have to zoom in. I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 Makes me feel better. Okay, so we're going to adopt Barry. Trying to decide about that slide up. I don't know. It's so funny, like, I, oh, I feel like I'm back okay. in the days of, of Flash. Like, for a long time, it was all, like, very static design, and you would just give it to developers and be like, yeah, can you guys just, like, make it move when you click things? And that was, <laughs> and the developers are like, great, uh, what does that mean? Like, how fast should it move? What way should it move? Yeah. And now... And those developers. <laughs> we love developers, but Bless I'm like, them. why... Why are you asking all these very specific questions? That's that's part of it, though. Otherwise, it is. Otherwise, as, a, you have as, to a, as a designer, you're very vague with like, you know how if yeah, I'll it know just, when it feels right. It's gonna feel yeah. right as soon as it feels right. You know, you just do enter in some numbers. Having built designs so before, annoying. I, I totally get where they're coming from, though. Yeah, <laughs> it's like no, you don't understand. I need to put a number in yeah. a, a style sheet. Like it can't just be like whatever. Whatever Paul feels like. Yeah, and I want it to be very much <laughs> a very f nice feeling. So dissolve feels a little slow. Uh, okay. The bottom back loops to page five and six. Uh, it looks like Tim there's says a flow just issue. Make it pop. Okay. From five <laughs> to six. Okay, we'll take a look at yeah, that. Yeah, let's look at that. And by all means, oh, thank you so much. It looks like we do have some uh, comments. Would be better to center it vertically, I think. Okay. Uh, might be a thought. Oh, yeah. Good point. Lily likes it. Good to hear. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The great thing about this is that these comments stay with this file, and as soon as we get something licensed and resolved, we like resolve these comments. Oh, that is really they, handy. They stay with it, but they just kind of tuck them away. That's cool. So and, then you uh, can keep track of what's done. Yeah. And I'm just kind of clicking through do? the screens. Thank you, Tim. Okay, here we go. Tim is like, Move button lower, please. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh. oh, good eye, Tim. I like it. I'm just kind of pointing this out. Like he's like, is that on the same baseline? Okay. That's a. Yeah, that's a good point. We got work to do. Huh. <laughs> Dang. Man, <laughs> we're gonna be here all day. Yeah, we got, we got <laughs> Never <to> mind. <laughs> Never mind schedules. Uh, we're not leaving till this is perfect. <laughs> no one's allowed to leave chat either. Yes. <laughs> just stay with us. <laughs> We're gonna work until this is done. Yeah, Reza, by all means, we appreciate you uh, adding these comments in chat, but you could also add it to the prototype itself. Let's see, so we'll get some other images since you've got some new ones for me. Ooh. Gotta pull in those licensed ones. 
Are those in the library already, the licensed images? Yeah, I actually just licensed those three new ones. Oh, okay. I'm still getting a lot oh. of work. Oh, shoot. You know what I just realized? <laughs> what yeah. did you do? No, this is actually, it's, <laughs> oh, it's working exactly the way it should. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll fix it. All right, all right. We'll come back to I'll, that one. And then I'll talk about what's happening. Okay, sounds good. We'll come back to that one for now. We'll let it be. Let me look oh, at these back goodness. buttons, see what's going on here. These all need to be aligned correctly. Good feedback. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful images. I know. From Adobe Stock. I feel like Adobe Stock has some of the best owl images I've seen. Oh. I was Amazing. blown away yesterday. Hmm. Zoom in. <laughs> this is the only time I zoom in is when I want to see if things are aligned to the pixel grid. Right. Or whatever. <laughs> like, okay, where do I want these to be? This is the kind of stuff that normally takes me days. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sit here being like, is that a line right? And then just to throw a curveball, I'll be like, do I even want to use Avenir? You know? <gasps> <laughs> and then we really will be here for a week. Cause yeah. Then I go on Typekit and I'll spend like three days browsing sans serif fonts. Right. Creating collections and trying out all the different mm -hmm. ones. There's so many. Sometimes I'm I'm like I've seen them all. I know all the fonts, and then I'll find a new one I love, and right. it starts all over again. I'm kind of a typography like nut. Oh really? Yeah, it's a, it's almost a problem. <laughs> I can be a bit of a snob about fonts. I'll be like, oh, you used like <laughs> I drive Andrew crazy with this. He'll use like Open Sans in a design, which is a great font. But I'll just be like, oh, use that font. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I would have gone with, you know, whatever, Proxima Soft if it were me. Wow. Was like, okay. You are good. <laughs> or a total nerd. Yeah. Well, I, I think one thing to keep in mind when it comes to fonts for uh, even a mobile device is like, would you have the, a license to use it on the device and things like That's that? That's a good point. Always important to have a license. Yeah, because that can that can kind of come back to bite you. But here, I don't know, it looks. I say go stick with the font. Yeah, let's. We'll leave it. You're be. fighting. You're fighting the urge. Yeah, to I will like, fight my usual impulse to redesign everything. Are we getting good comments? Yes, we are. May the fonts be with you. <laughs> Oh, oh, I know Chris. Chris, Chris do? Yeah, I know Chris, Zach. Yeah, I know Chris. Chris do is the best at self-promotion. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's asking you a font's not like him, so anyway. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I don't think I know him, but I love a fellow font snob, so I'll have to look him up. Yeah. <laughs> we can uh, try to out font snob each other. Yeah. <laughs> we'll both be critical of each other's fonts. Would it be good to add an X in the top right corner? Yeah, I see what you guys are saying about this adopt flow. You know what I'm kind of realizing is that we're missing like an adopt index page. And that's what we need to be able to go back to. Because right now, if you tap Adopt, it goes directly into like that one owl. Yeah. But you need like a list of the owls that are available to adopt. Like it's almost like the the guide page is the adopt page. It could be. Yeah, I I have been thinking of it like. Yeah. But yeah, maybe any of these could be available to adopt. That's true. Yeah. And that's, this is, I mean, this is exactly what we're looking for. This is what you figure out when you get into prototyping. Yeah. And is it a, <laughs> is it a separate page? So is, do you duplicate the guide page? And that's the adopt page. And these are the ones you can adopt. Yeah. Here's all of them. Here's the ones that you can d adopt. Or it could even be like a page, of, it, like that's about the adoption program, but then you scroll and it's like available owls. 
I'm going to go oh, crazy and okay. try to do something on the fly. We'll oh, see what happens. <laughs> okay. Alex, fonts freak you out. <laughs> you don't have to freak you out. Font anxiety. Fonts are your friends. I know a lot of designers, though, that have just, like, kind of a mental index of a handful of fonts that, like, are their go-tos. Yeah, 100%. You know, and that, and that works, too, because trying That's to hold you, all the... I remember no, when we yeah. first started, or sorry, I'm going to speak for you. You're okay. probably like 22, no. but. 22. <laughs> oh, when I first you started. Can, you can be a guest anytime. Here. You're when so I sweet. first started with design, the only fonts supported on the web were like yeah. Helvetica Arial, Georgia Times New Roman. Yeah, career, so you didn't have that career. anxiety of like, how will I choose from the thousands of available yeah. fonts? You had to. You know, you, you'd you just have to make it an image gonna... if you wanted to use a specific font. It had to be part of it in a in a JPEG. Oh yeah, and like, here's that. your title. You'd that's like actually JPEG. Out now. It's not exact... searchable. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You're yeah. like back in my day. Back in my right? day. Old back grandma. In my day, we only had ten <laughs> fonts we could use. They were called system fonts. And it's a true thing. It's all... that's really how it was. I I'm used not even to do kidding. ASCII art back in the day. <laughs> ASCII art. Ooh. Okay, but you are not 22. I'm not <laughs> You're 22. You're dating yourself I'm now. way old. <laughs> no. I'm an old guy. <laughs> no. So. Okay. But no, you're exactly right. I think it, back to your point of like I think all of us designers have a thousand fonts on our computer. Yeah. <laughs> but we but we use like eight. <laughs> yeah. We have them all. It's but so we true. have like eight to ten of our favorites that we will use. Yeah. That's why I'm so glad we can now favorite fonts in the menus in Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign and stuff. Totally. That makes a big so. difference. So yeah, in about uh, 25 minutes, 24 minutes, we'll be doing so portfolio soon. reviews. If you are just joining us, day three is the fun day. We get to do portfolio reviews of a couple portfolios. So get those in. Show us your fancy fonts. Please do. And your fancy face. <laughs> Because we're gonna see all of you. So, owls available for adoption. This is super on the fly. Jose, thank you for joining us. Come back when you get back from your dentist appointment. We'll just <laughs> we'll be right here. If you could just stop right now until he gets oh, back. Oh, Jose, you should bring headphones and listen. There you go. Listen, I like, I like where your wherever at. you're going. Welcome, <laughs> Nyan. Uh, hopefully, it's working out for you. Again, we're uh, creating a site that allows you to adopt owls from a specific location. And uh, it could be Barry, it could be any number. But now that we're in the prototyping stage, we can start to, we're realizing that we might need some additional pages and stuff, which is exactly what happens. That's, that's what it's for. Oh, yeah. This is coming together, I think. And Robert, courier should freak you out. Because <laughs> that's a super specific use case. I will judge people on their fonts. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right? I'm, yeah, I'm so bad about uh, it. I will judge you. There's certain fonts that, shouldn't be used. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> what am I even? Let's, We're such nerds. <laughs> Listen to us. Let's, let's, let's call it, let's call it all, uh, uh, like, uh, font, like, snotty right now. Be like, <laughs> oh, like, I and know. not even like we're even beyond, uh, you know, <laughs> the um, comic sans. We get it. And curls with a Z. Yeah. That but there's still other fonts. Like, those oh, are too I'm thinking easy. of impact. Can't, oh, yeah. Don't like impact. <laughs> Although people started using that ironically for like memes. Okay. So now it's kind of come full circle yeah, where it's that's like cool okay. again. You could do it ironically. Ironic yeah. <laughs> no, I'm using impact ironically. Exactly. Forget you and your impact font. <laughs> exactly. Kidding. Okay, this little adopt screen I think is gonna come together here. And that's gonna help solve some of our prototyping woes. I so like it. Maybe you want to search and filter again, because maybe you want to be able to filter. Like, I don't want to adopt a small owl. I only want to adopt a big owl. These little ones. Yeah. So now, oops. Haley uses, her VP uses blue Comic Sans. Ooh. I just, that, that makes me also kind of laugh. I'm like, oh, look at you. You don't know fonts. Yeah. It kind of like makes, it's, it's kind like, of endearing. Oh. Yeah, so it's probably like, oh, you don't really know, do you? It's like everyone has that, that like crazy aunt who like makes birthday invites, you yeah. know, and sends them out in emails and they're yeah. just like wacky designs. And I love like, it. I'm like, look at you There's something really go. refreshing and sweet yeah. about it. I <laughs> Not agree. to be condescending. 
Sorry, Aunt Marcia, if you're watching. Ah, uh, Aunt Marcia. Is that where you, is <laughs> she, she do that? I really Aunt do Marcia. have a specific aunt who would do it. It's sweet, though. I love it. Tim says a local park painted a sign in Comic Sans. Cool. I like the idea of having a very exact stencil of a uh, phrase done in Comic Sans. Yeah. Because Comic Sans is very loose, but they have a very, we got to make this perfect, but it's Comic Sans. like yeah. the worst font ever. Actually, no, not the worst font ever. By I the think way. that would be a fun challenge, just like design the worst font, <laughs> like that would be the worst site you can. You know what it would be? It and was, we can it judge it based on. It that. would be a font that uh, everything's like a little off. Like Ooh. none of the thickness of any of the fonts are, yeah. are, are the same, and the kerning is the always kerning is off. Just a couple pixels. Like off. everything's just like slightly off, <laughs> and it just annoys you. But you can't you like can't quite put your finger on it. So it's not blatantly bad. That would be subtly an awesome. bad. Like a designer prank or something. Where you yeah. Like, you like give like if you're a creative director, you could give your designers that font and be like, okay, guys, this is the new brand font. You you, re <laughs> you replace their their Helvetica new with one that's just slightly a off. Slightly wrong. Everything's like a little. And then just sit back and laugh. I'm evil. Yeah. That would be that would be torture. All right. Yeah. So Robert, that's a good question. Like even like so, Comic Sans obviously has a place. Everything kind of has its place, but that's right. uh, you know, it doesn't really. I don't know if it translate any place without like, if it's not in a comic, essentially is what he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> comics you know. are the place for. Because you know Sans. how it got on everybody's machine. How's that? It was like a. It was a tutorial that was a com a comic like tutorial on Windows a long time ago, oh. and like Arial just didn't work. So yeah. it was like totally appropriate. Like, okay, well, we need to pre-install this font on the machine so it works for this tutorial comic. And since it was pre-installed, we started using it for everything. Everyone else. used it for everything. So the, even the guy who made Comic Sans was like, "Whoa, <laughs> my plan wasn't to give it to the world and have them use it. That's, That's just kind of so what funny. happened." That's so funny. I feel for that guy now. Yeah, and you he know he's a very bottom. well respected guy. He's you know? probably like a brilliant typographer. Is yeah. like made. All you know, some of the best fonts that we totally take for granted. Yeah, and he's just like, oh, Comic Sans Comic haunts Sans. me my whole career. I know. I don't <laughs> know how that would make me feel. That would be tough. I'm gonna do a, show a cool re repeat grid feature here for those who missed it the other day. Drop some images in. Yeah, so those should be the. Woo! Oh, good. So those are. Those are the those ones are the that nice you found ones. for me. Yep. Do you like the one with his, the, I don't know if that's a snow owl with his head, like, Rrr. Yeah, I love him. I think that's a good, so I was thinking for the Adopt an Owl pa Rrr. page. It's kind of like part informational, part like get on it. and. That's adorable. So I think he'd be a good mascot, because he's like, don't yeah. you want to adopt me? And look at look at me. Look My me wing back. is please, broken. I need please help. Please be my friend, please. <laughs> and notice how your colors are working for like every image that you're using. So I feel a good like call. It, it looks like we planned it, but we didn't. It's yeah. just kind of been awesome. We Ooh. planned it a little. Hey, we do, Simon, we really appreciate you, by the way, because Fat Frank, I love Fat Frank font. I don't know Fat Frank. Oh, yeah, I'll show it to you. <laughs> uh, I don't know about Feltip. I'll check that out. SF Pro, yeah, is the font that Alex oh, is yeah. responding is on your phone, so you're not going to be able to change that on iOS. Yeah. You know, they got all that like, kind of locked down. Right. You can't, you can't change your, you know, your status bar to that. I feel like I need to name these owls. Wait, I'm gonna name them after, after some of our friends in chat. Oh yeah. That's so Omar, Omar the then. owl. Oh, Omar the owl. <laughs> Omar, is that okay? you just got Omar? an owl. <laughs> and Who else? Simon's got to get an owl because he's been with us from day one. Yes, Simon's <laughs> in there. Simon the, the owl, the screech he, owl. Yeah, the screech owl. <laughs> so he's like constantly. Simon's like <laughs> no. screech owl. Just Not kidding, Simon. That. We like you. <laughs> we do. You're awesome. <laughs> Let's get Glenna in there. <laughs> okay, Glenna. Glenna's yeah. in. <laughs> I want you Glenna all. the good owl. The good owl. <laughs> Not that the other the ones good are bad. One. No, but of course not. That would be good, and then we can maybe have like what type of owl they are here, or good. I don't know. Felicia uh, wants to be in there. Yeah. I will just me, write me. your names down. I know. I want all of you to have owls. Now I just well, the good thing is with repeat grid, as we learned the other day, we could. Uh, oh, you could do that. I could just kind of extend this baby yes. all the way down, and we could and then all repeat that. Yeah. And then we can, nice. get, we can get. Who else? Felicia. Oh, uh, uh, Oliver. That's a good, uh, good right? owl name. Yeah. Felicia. Yep. Felicia. Spell it right. Okay. 
Felicia the flammulated owl. <laughs> <laughs> Flam- oh, is that even a real one? It's a real one. Look it up on the Audubon site. I'm telling you. Tim, you got an owl. Ooh. I gotta look up an owl that starts with a T, though. True. This is true, is actually the name of an owl. Okay. Tim the true owl. That sounds so uh, noble. Wow. I love you, that. I would go to you for advice and wisdom and things. Oh, Kaylee, you get an owl for sure. There's a horned owl, there's a northern white-faced owl, okay. southern white-faced. Uh. <laughs> Kelly, you can be the snowy owl. How about that? <laughs> I'm so into this now. I'm gonna have to go back and give you all cute avatars. Cute owl avatars. Yes. Have to, Who like else was the owl? owl? Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's yelling in the background, Ozzy. That's the mascot from his, and English people will appreciate this. Andrew, my husband, is a big Owls fan, as in Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, it's a football team in, in the oh. north of England where he's from, and their mascot oh. is actually the Owls. Oh, really? So it's kind of wow. weird, because we met, and he was like, I love Owls, and I was like, I wow. love Owls. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> that is a and he, meant, meant to be. He also took me to a Sheffield Wednesday match, and their mascot, Ozzy the Owl, was out on the pitch, like, hugging kids and giving them autographs. Oh. And I saw I saw him and, like, this guy in the costume, and I just, like, pushed everyone out of the way and just ran to the kids, front. Just like children. Like, threw my arms around this owl, and it was, uh, it was kind of rude and inappropriate, but I was very excited and I couldn't contain myself. Yeah, yeah that happens. Ooh, Zach the Zealous Owl, I like Andrew that. Andrew knows. <laughs> There's a great gray owl <laughs> as well. So we'll give Ozzy an owl too. And though. what we're doing here, so she's extended that artboard down and it's gonna make it scrollable, so this is gonna work out really well. Yeah, this is cool. You guys will see. Wow, these owls are amazing. <laughs> like, I can't get over it. <laughs> I'm telling like, you, man. Just to give you a Get little, on board. Here's the great gray owl. Majestic. Poor kids. I know, Catherine, it was terrible. I did the wrong thing. Got too excited. <laughs> <laughs> just kids, just like, just a yeah, like, lame, out of just my like, way. the carnage was that day was. <laughs> yeah, it was, an, it was a. Not my proudest moment, if I'm being honest. Well, it sounds like Bailey can agree with you because she did that with a giraffe at once at at, uh, at the zoo. I didn't. Know, <laughs> you can't just you run up and hug a giraffe, can you? I hope so. That would be cool. Ooh, Simon Cowell, <laughs> you're funny. Simon Cowell, good call, Bubba. <laughs> I like it. So if you are just joining us, we are making this owl app. We're gonna you can adopt an owl, which might be named after somebody in chat. That's right. So welcome. I can post the link because as soon as we publish this out, you can add more comments. You can also submit your portfolio for review, which will happen in about 10 minutes. That's why we have this little little clock right down there. It's 11 minutes. <laughs> uh, just check out the portfolio review tab. So now you guys can see in the prototype, if you scroll. Bailey, where are you? Uh, You're all there. Where do you live? Like, where's this Where's this zoo where you get to just run up and hug giraffes? <laughs> so you can feed them and everything. I want to go to that zoo. All right, I should publish this baby. I still need to get my back buttons in order, you guys. There's, there's back button chaos going on. <laughs> gotta, gotta tweak my prototype. Yeah, this is... I'm gonna... Could, does it like tell you if there's been published changes published to a prototype? If no. you're like following it or anything? Okay. So no, I could just, just continuously yeah. be publishing changes and people won't know that I'm that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like you, this afternoon where we're supposed to be out seeing San Francisco. I'm like, yeah. no, I've got to you're, get this you're prototype. You're on a right. fictitious prototype <laughs> or a fictitious app that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go like to Owl Parks now and try to sell them this. I'll be like, don't you want to buy this cool app design I made you? You still have to build it. But. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can, like, you you can continuously update it. And just so you know, you can you can manage all those published links. So oh, you cool. can always kill, like, as soon as you're done with, with that phase of it, you can... You could kill you that can link. You can take, take down that. 
Oh, and by the way, like just a little FYI, if you are joining us, um, we do have XD's sort of, we have a starter version and basically we, XD is free this, as of this week. So, so cool. we have sort of a starter version. Gives you like, I think two, two gigs, lets you publish out a version. Just something to get you started. I love that that is a thing that's happening. Cause I think with design, it's like, it, you can totally teach yourself and it is one of these, like whether it's just something you do for fun or you're mm -hmm. like professional at it, I don't know. It's awesome that if you have a computer, access to a computer yeah, now, it's amazing. Anyone can download XD and just like start playing it, with it. Yeah, it, it really is amazing. Like, how many professions can you just get into with yeah. with l little barrier to entry? Right? Um, yes, you do need a laptop, creating. and then you you know you get the trials, you get these free versions of XD, and uh, create a portfolio, which is why we have these. Why we have the challenge is you can build a portfolio and then we have portfolio reviews because we're trying to build careers and, you know. It's awesome. I want more competition. <laughs> Everyone go get XD and get really good at it. By the way, as you publish this, this is really fun as I switch to the GoPro, we've been able to see this update too. Oh yeah. it's that's, still connecting. That's true. So like, if I come in as here. as you move this or, yeah, there, go ahead. If this becomes Tim the Owl, you see it change live on your phone. So if I'm like, oh, this like green move it around is, you, or what, yeah, do whatever yeah, you like do. this is hard to read or this is in the wrong spot. Like as I'm making these changes, it's happening live on my phone, mm -hmm. which creates kind of a funny situation where I'll be sitting there designing with my phone in one hand, like mm -hmm. mouse in the other hand as I go. <laughs> yeah, that is really cool. Yeah, Simon, I'm gonna make that update in just a sec. I'm trying to get these links. Link set up right. Uh, Catherine, is there a class for normal designers? There are no normal designers. <laughs> yeah. We're all a little weird. If you're watching this stream, you know that there's no normal <laughs> designers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Bailey's from Kansas, by the way. Yes, I saw that. That's so really I good to see. I gotta go see go those giraffes. You can feed giraffes. Yeah. So I don't know what you mean by normal designers. Just so you do know, Catherine, we do have a different subject each week. So this is all about UX and UI, which is what we're learning. We found some, you know, some UI issues or UX issues actually here. But next yeah. week will be, you know, something different. Actually, next week is the Off Festival, if I'm not mistaken. Cool. Um, you can take a look at the schedule. I have to go ahead and actually name my artboards for once. That helps with prototyping. Yeah, it does. <laughs> if you actually That's name your artboards. Point. That's actually <laughs> when it gets to be important you write as you prototype. It, yeah, because then you're like, what is this filter one, filter two, index yes. one, index two? So it's yeah. good. That's when it's, organization is a thing worth yeah, doing. I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna I'm gonna show you some things after a while too. Like we'll do we'll publish design specs. I want to see that because that is such a big challenge. Yeah, and what's nice about it is you get to see all the artboards in a sort of like a flowchart fashion too. Okay, let's. I want to so. do that. I'm going to go ahead and publish yeah, these changes. It. It's probably still not quite perfect, but keep commenting with the stuff I need to update because I will do it. So that's fantastic. Update here, and then yeah, I really want you to show me that yeah, publishing specs. Super, super easy. Uh, so. Yeah, okay. so again, we've updated that link. Actually, click on that one more time. Okay. And then right down there, publish design specs. Cool. So publish that out. Okay. It'll be a different link. This is what you'd give your developer. So like one, the prototype link goes to the client. The client gives you a thumbs up as soon as you kind of worked out everything. And this is the link you'd send to the developer. So open up that link for the developer. Copy it. You or open just, it, yeah. Can, I, trust me, I, yeah, don't worry about it. I do this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. I now just roll over, like see, roll over the next one so you can start to see how everything's connected. Oh, cool. And then if you click into it and, you know, oh, select that text. That is amazing. Yeah. That is so cool because how many times do you have like developers being like, I don't know what font weight this is. And yeah. back in the day, I literally in Photoshop would like redline it where you draw a red line from like one element and then you're like, here's all the styles. Yeah. And because, you know, maybe a developer doesn't want to have to open the software and start digging around in, mm -hmm. in your files or whatever. So exactly. this is perfect because now they can just click on these elements and. They get to 
obviously all, they get the, all of it. All the specific properties, including the colors, as These well as widths. the text. Like they can actually copy the you know, the text right down there. Oh yeah. They can copy it from there. Oh my god. That's so, brilliant. I don't know if you knew this, Margarita. I don't know who if this is new to anyone here. It's super cool. I haven't used this yet, but the next the next question what people usually ask for is they want to be able to download these images like from the, oh, from, right. the from this page, which I totally agree. So we are working on that. Yeah, because you want to be able to like right click, that. you know, yeah, export that out. Give me the SVG or whatever. Yeah, that would be awesome. So, um, and this is helpful for designers too, because it's like a good way to see what they're going to see, and then you can kind of, if you notice like things aren't quite perfect mm -hmm. here, like I'm like, oh, that icon shouldn't be 20 pixels; it should be 16 or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a good way for me to kind of take a step back and see the design through someone else's eyes. Yeah, oh look, and by the way, so since you don't have anything selected, mm -hmm. click off of it, look it off to the side. You get like everything oh, that's nice. used on that page. Yeah, so at a glance they know they can pull in all the colors. And, ooh, it's connected, sheet. by the way, like roll over it. Oh it's yeah. It's highlighting. Ah. Oh my gosh. This is, this is. We're getting excited again. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I like how we're constantly just like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, such dorks. It is really cool. <laughs> Click back to all screens again, because this is the nice, we get asked for like sort of the um, uh, like um, flow chart or map view. So when you roll over these, you can see how they're all. How it's all connected yeah. too. So this is like, even if you're developer isn't, doesn't have like XD installed, right? They can still yeah. go in and look at this. 100%. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. 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 Because yeah, you do work with, a lot of times Everybody. in the past I'd be like, install Photoshop, and then you can click around my files, and they're like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know? And what what is actually, this is what's what's actually happened over the years, is like, now, now companies ask for the PSD, because they've gotten used to working that way. Yeah. You know, even when you del deliver a prototype, they ask for PSD. So we get the request of, now that I have this XD file with all these prototypes, I need to export it out as a PSD to give to the end client. This <laughs> is like where oh, we right. kind of are at. at well, you can, well, you can take stuff. If you have existing PSDs, you can drop those into XD, right? Yeah, as well. exactly. Which is kind of huge. So I feel like if you're not totally yes. ready to jump in with a blank canvas to play with XD. Yeah. So does everybody hear that? Tammy and Margarita, everyone, like you could take a PSD and right click, you know, open in XD. Or just file open. Open yeah. up a PSD, open up a sketch file. Everything's gonna come in as that. It's not even flattened. Like I can edit that text and all that. So that's so cool. That's super cool. Can I be like a, a Lamo and ask you to open this for oh, me. Oh, I thought we were choosing. <laughs> I've been trying to. Oh, excuse me. I don't know this. if y'all have noticed this, this, but I have been trying to open this bottle for oh, the entire you? duration oh, of funny. this stream. And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm over it. I'm just gonna <laughs> be, be lame and make him do it. <laughs> he was yeah, hurting no, my thank hand. You. <laughs> thank you. I don't know what it is like. I always feel like strong when somebody asks you to open it until you can't. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, this thing's broken. <laughs> I was like, this is Send an embarrassing back. moment. I'm really sorry. I thought about trying to signal to like Andrew off camera and be like, get over here. Andrew. Open this bottle. Get your, get your big muscles over here. <laughs> <laughs> but you are right. So people are mentioning a couple things mm. because you do have the ability to copy and paste and all that as well. Just kind of switching back over here. Andrew's backing me up. He's like, yeah, I open all our bottles at home. I haven't opened anything it just myself makes you feel in useful. like years. Like, oh, I've, I contributed. <laughs> I helped. My hands are like baby soft because of it, so. Yeah. So anyways, open XD, <laughs> boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, somebody does mention like copying and pasting. By the way, you can copy and paste. You can even kind of dive into something that uh, might be. Did uh, you design this? This is cool. No, I did not. Um, Okay. Then it kind of sucks, right? <laughs> no, just joking. No, it's neat. But uh, so this is just, you know, you have a shape layer over here. You can always right click and you can like copy SVG from what? shape layers too, just so you know. That is cool. And actually copy the CSS. I love so again, it. Yeah. Copy SVG and then even once you're in Illustrator, uh, you could obviously do copy and paste. We've been using. Uh, 
this as well uh, using Creative Cloud libraries, and that's how we've been sharing things. So I've been able to kind of do my part. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I need to go back in and update these some of these images. No more watermarks, because we license our images. You, you're doing that's great, by the roll. way. I do, I do need to point out that we are going to get into portfolio reviews, and then we'll probably have a little bit of time to kind of okay. wrap this up, too. Ooh, that looks good, too. I love that. Ooh, I like that. That's it's all coming together. Yes. It's really cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see these portfolios. So am I. Talk amongst yourselves, everybody. <laughs> Trying to rapidly like, make this prototype better in about <laughs> 25 seconds. <laughs> this is where the pressure's on. That's when you know we're working. Like yeah, when we finally quiet. got quiet. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> okay, and, that's. Uh, I think that's better. Woo! Woo! blowing my mind right now. It's all coming together. It is. It's looking really good. It's exciting. Follow Altastic online on the social medias if you do want to like, in case you want to, you know, publish out something later or whatever. Like, yeah. If there's any sort of follow up. I will definitely have some follow up. And I got a couple good questions. Actually, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything you want to see more of or know more about, feel free to hit me up, or obviously the team, the I whole think, team. I think Adobe. more, I, I don't, I think people are more interested in, people are ready to adopt owls at this point more than anything. <laughs> like, wait, we're prototyping? <laughs> That's, we're all about owls at I this know. point. The point was, people wasn't like, necessarily to create We've learned so much about owls. <laughs> like, yeah, so many things. I've created an army of owl fans. That was my that was my real. I never realized here. that I loved owls so much till this week. I know. Like seriously. Well, I'm so glad I could share that, my love. Tell me with that you. one isn't adorable. He's so cute. Ugh, They're one of the me. coolest looking animals. I swear. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Reza, Tammy Allen, and That's by the way, XD one. is available for Mac and Windows 10. By the way, so it's so a cross platform. Cool. Looking good. It's getting there. Should we? Yeah. Should yeah, we? let's do it. I'm ready. All right. Yeah. All right. So you do see that it says portfolio submission deadline is at zero zero zero. So it's we are time. going to yes, launch into portfolio reviews. Here we go. in space, apparently. We had to view these amazing portfolios from space because they were that epic. Can you even hear me? Can I don't it, know. Is the air breathable? Of course we're still in the spaceship. I, I'm getting lipstick all over this helmet. Oh, great. <laughs> Sorry, What guys. are we going to do? <laughs> like, what is, is somebody making out with the inside of that helmet? Why is there lipstick know. everywhere? Lucia, hopefully you like the video. It's actually Ooh. by Odd Fellows, and uh, I'm gonna since this thing is yeah, since the air is breathable, I'm gonna pop this. Has off. our environment adjusted Ready? in the capsule? Okay. Oh. Okay. Did it? Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, knocking out things. <laughs> that was like drooling inside. That thing. We're gonna need to wash okay. this now. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you made it gross. Sorry. Did you make it gross? No, <laughs> just kidding. It's fine. There's a little bit of drool. There's a little bit of. <laughs> A little bit of lipstick. Um, I'll just take this with me. <laughs> yeah, either way, that's yours. Helmet. What you, what you do in your own helmet, whatever. You, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, but we are in uh, 
uh, sort of the our portfolio por review kind yeah. of thing. Exactly. So those little helmets. And uh, let's take a look. And thank you so much for submitting a portfolio. We'd love to review everybody's, but we really only have a chance to review a couple. Uh, and this is who we're reviewing right now. Uh, Meta, Meta, Meta. Mendoza, Meta Mendoza from cool. the Philippines. Philippines is like super, super early in the morning there, by the way. Oh, really? It is like the farthest east you can get. Oh, man. It is like three in the morning. So if Meta's watching, uh, she's like, yeah. you got to have coffee or <laughs> yeah, that, they're just I hanging out with know. coffee. Oh, man. I don't even know. But either way, like, I think this is really good feedback for everyone uh, from... Quezon City, Philippines has a link right there. We can kind of take a look at project views. This is typically where I start. And oh yeah, you got it. You got it right there as well. Hold it up here too. Perfect. I'm gonna get a good look. So, uh, yeah, about you, web and UI services. Cool. Graphic services. Looks like they do it all. Video motion, motion graphics. So For cool and rad merchandise. Please visit my online shop. Very cool. That's cool. I guess one thing. Ooh, I love this, by the way. Just and then you can whatever you want to say, but like, I love the fact f that they're mentioning, hey, I'm I'm interested in getting business. Yeah, like, I don't think we I don't think we ask enough for what we want. That's you need true. to say, hey, I want I want business, and this is what this is what I do, and I want your business. I love that. Yeah. So, what else? What else were you gonna say? Oh, I, I was just gonna say like, I guess it would be helpful to know which which of these things is like your primary focus or do you kind of do everything equally? Um, I guess my first thought mm -hmm. when I see this is like, that's awesome that you are so talented that you can literally provide all these services, but yeah. at the same time, it's kind of like the jack of all trades, master yeah, yeah. argument. Agreed. Like, which one is your focus, I suppose? Yeah, like, that, that's a that's a good point. And, and honestly, like we can, yeah, I agree with you. Maybe it's like I specialize in web and UI services, but you know, I can provide like a full package or yeah. just, just a thought. Exactly. No, oh, good but call. This is looking cool. Work experience. Then we can, we'll probably pick out a couple projects. We're going to review two. We'll pick out a couple of these. I will, t I was really interested in just seeing the like consistency in color here as we yeah. take a look. It's like all this like sort of taupe tan color and that's cool. Uh, everything. Yeah. I'm and, into it. Uh, yeah, what do you, what do you think? Shall Maybe we, we should look at some of their latest work? Yeah, we can. <laughs> I mean, there's this daily creative challenge that I'm kind of interested in. Uh, yeah. The fact, I mean, it seems appropriate. So we'll dive into this very first one, and then we'll pick another. Uh, the XD Daily Creative Challenge published. Yeah, you got it yesterday. Wow. Good job flagging all the uh, apps used, and then you can see it's a complete nice. Layout. This is cool. Um, I love, <laughs> I love the, the that they've included the splash screen with the mm -hmm. sneakers and these yes. stats are cool. So. Five hundred waves. I wonder if that's like, if, is this like a surfing app? It must be. Yeah, because they've got the little hang ten symbol there in the dock. That is mm -hmm. cool. Surf tracker app. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. No, this is good. So I think that was that was my first thought. Yeah, I'm stalking you. Uh, <laughs> oops, sorry about that. Oh shoot, sorry about that. I'm not, did I get kicked out somehow? So um, I, that was my first thought. Is like I didn't know what this was. So yeah, I think, at first I thought it was a sneaker thing. Yeah, I did too. Uh, so. so like up at the top, if you just say, hey, you know what, this is something I did as a daily creative challenge. I had one day to make this app. And uh, it's all about, you know, whatever, catching waves or something. Yeah, I think Context. that can be really helpful. And there is a way to do that in the Behance Project Editor. Where you, and you've done that in some cases where you've added text. So maybe just going in and giving a little more context can be helpful. But I really like the layout. So sometimes you'll see these, and it'll just be one design that covers the whole screen. These are actually like, it's a nice three sort of triptych yeah. laid out, easy to digest, if you will. It's cool showing it in good. the context of the phone as well. Yes. Like seeing it in the actual product mock-up. Yes. And good job in like doing the shout out to, you know, where the mock-up came from. Yeah. Like that. That's always nice. And good color in the background. You know, you can customize that. So 
who works for a surf right. tracking app. <laughs> and again, just just tell people that you did this in a day because that's a huge thing. Yeah, definitely. It's a good job. Let's go back. Uh, what other one show? Which other one sticks out to you? I kind of want to see that M M2 Studios website design. Okay. Let's look at some web design. We've been looking at a lot of mobile stuff today. <laughs> M2 Studios. So that's Ooh, their brand color. I like it. Like yeah. right up here, like kind of diving into this website design for uh, this ongoing design. So this is great. Let's click into this. You can see it's in progress. Let's kind of zoom in. The coolest and the <laughs> rad designs and development. Cool. Oh, actually, let me kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neat. Yeah, it works for me. I think the colors are are nice. Let's kind of scroll down over here. I like that there's that big form at the bottom. That's super important with any like portfolio site. Yeah. <laughs> Like, let people know how to get in touch. They've done a good job that, both on Behance and their site. OK, so this is good. Kind of talks about exactly what happens. So there's some parallax going on, which you wouldn't get, seeing as you're just viewing a snapshot of the screen. Yeah. But kind of like, that really interests me. And That's cool to know. This is diving into the individual product projects. I'd be interested in seeing what this looks like on mobile like as well. Yeah. Personally. Oh darn it, I did it again. <laughs> you wanna keep, follow them? I wanna, so I wanna follow you so bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but no, like, this is great. You like yeah, the colors? Of I this do. One? I love the orange and the and the kind of tannish. Mm -hmm. I'm all like, about it. That yeah. orange is a great like accent color. And I don't think you see a lot of that. I feel like people always go for the like cooler color palette. So this is kind of cool because it stands out. Yeah, it does. And and this this layout like works out pretty well. Like the, yeah. the logo, you can go large because that's a thin font, so you can go large with it and it just looks good. Yeah. A good good font choice is kind of what I'm saying. <laughs> Great job, Meta. Congratulations, Meta. It is four AM there. Yay. <laughs> and you're sleeping. Good for you. Yeah. Hopefully you get uh, to watch this. Any later. any other comments wanna hear? Um <laughs> Looks like the Melbourne identity. I don't know about that, the the logo. But either way, I love I love the logo. That's cool. Uh, yeah, Our and, and says there are a lot of cool tones, perhaps. Just like you have a like you kind of have a signature color. This is interesting. I think you think everybody kind of has like a signature color, something they're kind of drawn to. I think so. Do you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have a signature like gr I'm really into like gradients. So yeah. like humber color combos and that's like what interests me now. In interesting colors. That's cool. But I know a lot of people that like yours is kind of more of a pink. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, my site is all gradients, but it's cr it's wacky gradients like okay. pink and green and gold and whatever. No. But like in, in life, my signature color is like a pink. Yeah. I'm curious to know what your signature color is. Voodoo Val, hers is purple, <laughs> of course. <laughs> A lot of purples. That's cool. Tammy's purple. Purples yeah. uh, across uh, cross culturally has a positive. Uh, you know, is very positive. Viewed very positive. Purple. We, we don't use it enough. I don't think. Yeah. We use I think blue it's coming a lot. around a little bit. We talk about like blue is everybody's favorite color. Everyone Actually, uses 40, blues. Forty percent of the population, their favorite color is blue. That's my favorite color. <laughs> it's a good one. That. There's something yeah. soothing about it. Ooh. Jarbo, I like bluish. That's good. Turquoise, Turquoise Anna. Turquoise, yeah. Good. I like that too, Anna. And I think uh, Maida is onto this because it's it's. I like this consistent look. It really makes this one stand out. By the way, <laughs> yeah. I almost can't see it, and I don't want to click on it because it's like it says it unholy, looks... and I don't know if it's going <laughs> to give me a virus on my computer as soon as I click on this. Uh, but I'm nonetheless, of that one. <laughs> you can you can reorient these. So maybe you want to put all the black ones like in one row and all the white ones in a row. You can reorganize them, and that would be my, my advice there. Yeah, Brent likes galaxy blue. All right. Samike, you like S Matthias likes S C M Y K. That's all the colors. <laughs> all the colors. <laughs> all what right, let's let's time. dive into the next one again. That's all. That's that's my advice. Is I don't like this little. I would consider this a widow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> um, and you keep don't have to even. include everything. Like, do you keep it even and then just have bars of color? 
and uh, that make would, it feel good. That's another thing I'll say too, is I think with portfolios, like for a long time, I put everything I did ever for all of time on my site. Yeah. Cause I was like, look at how much work I've done. <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at everything I can do. Yeah, and then after a while it's like, actually I think it's better to just showcase your best yeah. work. Like I say this all the time, but it's like, dude, put up the stuff you want to get more of those types of jobs. Yeah. So if I, you love doing like product design specifically, like really emphasize those in your portfolio. Uh -oh. Uh oh, I don't. I'm gonna. It says the, uh, I, so that actually was very well played because it says, hey, you know, there's very Thank shocking goodness. things in there. Like, thank you for giving me a heads up. Yeah. But notice how I did click on this one because it is the darkest one and it does stand out. Because I'm like, true. I'm not gonna review all these like you said, but maybe this one is that one's somewhat unique. Unique. Unholy. Unholy. Say Gary. All right, should we move on to the next one? Yeah, let's let's tackle the next one. Next one is. Dawid P. Congratulations, Dawid P. We're going to review your mm. portfolio now. In Poland. In Poland. Cool. Awesome. Shout out to the Polish. Yes. <laughs> and the Polish <laughs> in us. <laughs> what is you? Are you what net like? I'm like ever. Well, everything. <laughs> everything. Just like European. Everything. I mean, super American. That's the okay. funny thing. Yeah, my, but same but my dad will like, be like, we're Irish, but it's like. That was Are 400 really? years ago. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can <laughs> claim that anymore <laughs> uh, exactly. when you've been here for that long. But but yeah, all the things. Yeah, same here. <laughs> so I like this. These are the different teams. Focus. Uh, cool. There should be a, like an about you. And I kind of want to hear about you. Like, hey, tell me about yourself. Yeah, you're like a man of mystery in that yeah. avatar. Ooh, totally. Like, you know, that's kind of cool. But I, I want to know more. Oh, it's, I love it's it. intriguing. Yes. <laughs> so we're getting into UI game web web designer. So totally appropriate for this week. I love these cover photos. I gotta <sighs> say, and that's I love a, them too. I think that's really important to spend a lot of time mm -hmm. making those really stand out and look good. They look really good. Like I want to so click good. on all of these because they look good. super tight. <laughs> I, lo I like this. Like kind of. Let's just dive into this first one. Yeah, let's check it out. Daily UI challenge. Some purple in there. For all Very the purple clean. lovers, this is looking uh, good. Again, the whole idea of having this layout, like this is a whole experience. Yeah. yeah this good. is kind of beautiful. Loving I like that the it, colors. yeah, the simplicity of this form is kind of not taking away from the product shot. Yeah. Like it, actually it really just lets it. Definitely fills it out more too. Cause this, there, there's not a lot in this particular project, but yeah. it fills it out and makes it look complete. Uh, and I would still want to know about this daily challenge. What is this daily challenge? Here's another good example. Yeah. This Loving is Loving this. This is looking really good though. Looking so good. Look at this. It's so nice. Oh, love those. Killing it. <laughs> right? Yeah, How I it think it just blends into the page. That is so really good. well done in terms of the artworking. I would love mm -hmm. to know more about like what was the challenge? Um, and like, what were, what was some of the thinking that went into it? Like, why did you pick this yellow? And yeah, and know. even like again, what what, what this is for? Uh, it's this daily UI challenge, one of ten. I, that kind of tells me something, but like, what is the goal of this? Yeah, what exactly. Is, but you definitely like spot on for creating a composition, like as it's a very whole. well done. Any you just see more info. Let's open that. Oh, I'm curious about this little. Um, Success error screen. Oh, maybe let's see a game design thing. Okay. He says he does game design. Oh wow, That's which cool. is kind of cool. Here's uh, the logo. Ooh. World of Merlin. Mer Mer oh, Mer Merlin. Mer oh, sorry, Merlin. Mer 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 <laughs> Here's some feedback. We aren't sure if that says Merlin or Merm, but <laughs> it seems cool. Merin? It's very like Game of Thrones. Yeah. I'm into it. Looks really good. Let's kind of dive into this one too. It's in all of its glory. Whoa. Very beautiful. Yeah. Mad skills Look in at, Photoshop. There's some serious Photoshopping going on here. I'm into Love it. it. And it's, it's fun. You as a designer, you get to play with this amazing artwork. And it totally looks so good. Look at that. So good. That's cool. It's been Great a long job. time since I've gotten to do anything with that level of detail. It's so fun. I know. So yeah, again, I just want more context. Like what? What was that cool thing? <laughs> yeah. Someone says reminds me of Diablo. I could see that. Oh. So good. Okay. 
This is good too. Like, and I'm sorry. I can like if I click on it, it's going to be even smaller. But yeah, yeah. I think for something like this, it we get the full experience, but then segment it out. Like, it's okay to do a close up of this, and that's a JPEG. And yeah. And then here's the full experience. Like, here's pieces of it. Yeah, focus in on certain details that can be you know? really helpful. Yeah, because the color choices are really tight. Like, mm -hmm. I like this lighter sort of mid tones, some grays. Yeah. It's nice. It all fits with that kind of intense theme you've got going with the golds and the grays and so we have some Diablo fans. Has anybody ever heard of like I haven't heard of World of Marin, uh, but that's a thing. And it might just be a Polish type game. Uh, but great job, uh, even still displaying this artwork. I want to play these games now. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I love this. I just ooh, wow, ooh. that's interesting. This is is cool. there a phone that does that? I'll take it. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yes. I guess that's kind of what the new, the iOS 10 does, or the, yeah, whatever, the new iPhone 10. Yeah. I still have like an iPhone 6. Oh. I know, when I, I picked to it get up, on I was it. like, ew, this ew, is cute. It's so this old. is cute. <laughs> Look at this cute though. It's so cute. It's the so battery little. doesn't work anymore. It's a real problem for me. <laughs> If you if you do oh yeah that is that's the battery's whole thing. I'm not even but, gonna uh, get into it. Right up here, if you can see uh, Creative Cloud, so you can go into right down here for oh, yeah. placement is where you can get some things to get those placement items for a computer. Right here, you can see it right here, and that's essentially what uh, what he did, what Dawid did. I feel like I didn't know about placement mockups for so long, and I was like, <laughs> I would like literally take photos of my computer and spend mm. forever meticulously photoshopping things in and then I was like oh wait someone else has already done this work yeah exactly right? <laughs> so placement mockups will save you a lot of trouble and they look so good in your portfolio yeah it's the way to go yeah they do and yeah <laughs> I think this is good yeah I would as a whole um, like what do you think any other? Th I mean, actually, I think it looks really good. It looks really good. I guess my my only other feedback would be with daily UI challenges, like obviously the sooner you can jump into a real project, real project, whether it's like a personal project or something you're doing for a friend. Like for me, if I was hiring someone, I want to know like how they solve real world problems. I love doing daily UI challenges. I think it's like a really great way to get comfortable with a tool and just practice your skills. Mm -hmm. But it's always like a different story when you have like a real problem, you know what I mean? Like a real world situation that you have to solve for because yeah. that's where you get all those crazy constraints. So if you're designing something like for e-commerce and it's a theoretical daily UI challenge, obviously you can make like the most beautiful, awesome thing. But if you're designing for a real world company, mm -hmm. they have all these rules about their branding or yeah. who their customers are that come into play. Yeah. And like, feel free to like make that stuff up if it is for just some, some, it's good to at least at least pretend like there's a client there, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like here's my objective or here's here's the problem, here's my solution. Totally. Um, yeah, so even if it is like a daily UI challenge, I think explaining that like you thought about the constraints of a real world exactly. problem while making it, that would like impress me if I was hiring yes. a designer. That'd be really good. And so I think in, in this case, there's plenty of things going on here. I know some people that would take these the daily UI challenge and make that one project would be another oh, way to Oh, yeah, that's it. a good way to do it, too. So roll it up all into one, and that would sort of consolidate a lot of this. And then what you do is you put, uh, this is just something funny, you could put, like, a, ba a, a banner or a badge, and it says, Behance Pick. Oh, yeah. But it's not really a Behance Pick. Like, <laughs> you made it cheating. up. cheating. It would totally be ha you're, cheating. You're telling I'm, them uh, to game the picks on it's Behance? A game, game the picks. <laughs> Don't listen Behance to this guy. Behance portfolio pick. Good badge. lord. Terrible Sorry. advice. I, yeah, no, don't I'm just kidding. Me, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> I like that, though. I'm going to start doing that, like Photoshopping. <laughs> Behance, <laughs> pick of the day, or your your low profile image. Design, like, designer Behance of the day. Behance is spelled wrong. Everyone's Featured. Like, <laughs> nah, it's Behance is spelled wrong. <laughs> Gaming the system. Oh. I like it. Yeah, that was fun, though. Oh, I like seeing these portfolios. Thanks for sharing. So super cool. strong. Super strong, though. I know. You know? So much talent and out I, there. And I think what sometimes happens, like, you know, being Polish, like, we got to think that English might be a second language. So maybe that's why there's not a lot of, like, well, descriptions and things like that. So yeah, that's true. But well played.
Well played. <laughs> really appreciate you, Dawid. We also really appreciate uh, Meta's as well. And this is all happening through the portfolio reviews. So again, uh, that's what's happening here live. It is right over here above chat. You can see portfolio review. That's what we're doing and what we just did. That's right. And uh, that's what's happening now. We kind of kind of wrapping up now. Gosh, what do you think? Do you... I can't believe it. I know, here we are. Day three, it's almost over. I'm going to miss no, you guys so much. So just... This is where the tears come. I know. <laughs> it's honestly been so fun, though. It Seeing has. Seeing all the daily challenges, working oh. on this cool, sorry, cool owl there. app there together. Go. Oh, there we go. Owlsome. I think it's one of the best things I've ever designed, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I finally got to do an app featuring owls. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted you to come in and just like have fun I making had so something fun. that you wanted to make. You had a good time? I had the best time. Okay. I hope well, you had fun too. No, I, I, I definitely, I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say that like working with you has been fantastic and we've loved having you this week. Aww. Yeah, no, seriously, you've been a blast. I mean, Felicia, can you agree? Anna, everybody <laughs> like Megan? Oh, Felicia says I was owl-tastic. That's what I strive to be Thank every day. Thank you. You know, exactly. I wake up and I'm like, let's make today an owl-tastic day. You, I, I notice I've been smiling a lot this week uh, sitting next to you, but thank you so much. Yep. You can follow her on, at what, owl-tastic everywhere? Owl-tastic all over. Keep an eye out for her. Megan Fisher, she's Thank fantastic. You guys. Thanks, Not to worry, Paul. stick around. Zach Nielsen's up next. Good so to see excited. you, buddy. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>